What's happening guys, BRB Stormbreaker here with a another exclusive review. You guys are probably getting sick of these by now for how many I'm putting on here. Anyway, we have the Graffiti DC Direct Zoom. He's like Flash, but the opposite, like evil and all that, in case you didn't know. So, let's start it. So here's the packaging. There's only 4,000 made, limited ed edition, as you can see right there. There's the proof. Convention exclusive. This packaging's kind of different. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it has like these weird designs in them. Like there's lightning bolts and there's some other little weird shapes on it. But anyway, there he is inside. Let's turn this thing around. You see on the back, graffiti design, DC Direct. I guess they made him because um, I guess the comic series that's going on right now is Flashpoint. Something about him altering time. Not too big on that though. More of a Marvel person. Anyway, this is the list of the other characters they have. You have Cyborg, Normal Flash, uh, looks like a Warrior Wonder Woman, and looks like Batman, but I think it's like another dimension Batman. Because that, that one looks pretty sweet though. Alright, so that's the one we got right there, Zoom. So. Get this guy out of the package before it gets away from us. Alright, so here he is. DC Direct Zoom. He looks very cool. I like the sculpting they did on this. They did a good job on it. See all the muscles they put on him. Nice paint job. They did a very good job on him. That's eyes kind of creep me out though. I feel like these weird like, yellow eyes. He has that creepy smile too, like he's gonna like attack you or something, I don't know. Anyway, lots of good detail put in this. Good sculpting. Um, when I took him out, he's having a trouble standing right now. It's kind of weird. I'm trying to make him stand right now, but he won't. There we go. Alright. Not really that good with standing, you gotta kind of pose a little bit. He comes with a stand as well, that's probably why. Um, it's just a black circle, a little peg on it, that's it, nothing special. Um, yeah, so let's see some articulation on this guy. So, we got the arms, we go up, full 360, full 360 on both sides. Bends at the joint a little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. The hands can rotate. Uh, the head. Uh, the head can do a full 360. Um, has no waist articulation. That's kind of like the way DC makes them. They don't really have... Well, not all of them. Some of them, though. But his legs can move. His legs got to move. He's made for running, so... Got that right here. Can move a little bit. No feet articulation. Nothing right here. So he doesn't have much articulation, but he's still a good figure. Let's try to put him on that stand. There we go. Perfect. That stand does come in handy. All right. So he doesn't have much articulation, but he's still pretty good. Um, let's do some size comparisons now with some other guys. All right. So. Here's the size comparisons. We got six inch Iron Man, six inch Batman, three inch Colossus. You guys are probably very familiar with these guys. You've seen them in all my other episodes. Um, he's actually taller than all of them. You can see compared to Iron Man, he, the closest one in height is Iron Man. Uh, Batman's short, Iron Man's shorter than him. Colossus, of course, is shorter than him. Um, yeah, so he's kind of not really tall, but. He's tall for the 6 inch series, I guess you could say. Um, I believe he was $20. Took a while to get him. You had to like go through this, like you couldn't just go up and buy it. You had to go through like a raffle. It's kind of dumb, but it was, we got it. Glad I got it. Um, $20 was a good price on him. Yeah, I liked him. He's, he's a sweet action figure. Um, what else? Well, let's see, out of a 10, I'd give it a... An eight. Or eight, seven and a half. Let's say that, seven and a half. 
you know, it just depends on the person. If you love DC, if you love Flash, if you love anything Flash related, you'd like him. It just, it all depends on who you are and what you like. So, it, it can change. It's just my opinion, but I think he's good. He's worth it. And I suggest you get him. If you can. It's not too expensive online. Probably is going to be, though. Anyway, so this is my review for the Zoom. I hope you liked it and look forward to more episodes coming soon. Um, this has been yours truly, BRB Stormbreaker. Have a nice day.